Tara Horn here from Simple Day, and I want to make Monday the best part of your week. Today, I would like to explain how you can set up dashboards in Monday.com. Now, it's really important to realize that there are two kinds of dashboards. The first dashboard is something that's on a specific Monday.com board. So if you look over here, we have the website KPI board, and this basically just tracks stats for a website, like how many visitors, how many form subscriptions. You can see all the different stats we have here. Now, what I did is I added a dashboard to to this specific board. So you can see that I have a dashboard here. If you want to add your own, you just hit plus and you would hit dashboard. Now what a dashboard is, it, it only pulls information from this board. At the end of this video, I'll go into the different types of dashboards that can be added, like the different widgets that you can have. But here you can see the information pulled on this dashboard is just from this board, okay? I also created a sales KPI dashboard where here you can see I have my main board. And if I click on, let's just go to dashboard as it loads, you can see that this information is just the information of from the sales KPI dashboard. Now let's just say you have these two different dashboards or you can have two different um, monday.com boards and you want a dashboard that pulls in information from both of those. So that's where you can have a second kind of dashboard. And instead of making it on an individual board, you have to create it. So if you go to the left, left-hand side over here, you click add and you click new dashboard. So I'm going to create a dashboard and let's just say, I'll call this my, um, overview dashboard, right? Because I'm, I'm tracking sales and website and I can choose if I want it to be main or private. I'm going to hit create dashboard and you'll see it's going to create a dashboard. Now I need to choose which board or boards I want to connect to this dashboard. Just keep in mind what level plan you're on, on monday.com because a pro plan um, has up to 20 dashboards, enterprise goes up to 60. So here I'm going to add the sales KPI board and the website KPI board, and I'm going to hit done. And now you're going to see I have my dashboard and it's showing me that I'm connected to these two specific boards. And what that means is that I can pull information from both of these boards into this dashboard. So now I'm going to actually set up this board. So I'm going to add, add widget. And what I'm showing you now can be done on this kind of dashboard that's connected to a number of boards or a dashboard that's on a specific board. So I'm going to start, let's say, by adding numbers. This is one widget and you basically can pull in whatever numbers you want. So I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to go to the settings. Now you can decide. See, remember, I connected to two different boards. I can decide what number I want to track and it's going to add everything up for your number. Now, it doesn't necessarily make sense to like add or number of orders and website visitors. I'm going to add that number there, even though obviously we realize it doesn't make sense. Um, and then you can also choose your group. So let's say like I only want it to be 2023 because that's how my groups are broken up by year. So that would actually change the number. And here you can add um, if you want a sum, average, median, number, or type your own, whatever you want. So that's one kind of widget that you can add to either dashboards. Your next one that you can add is a chart widget. So I'm going to open this chart widget. And again, I click on the three dots and the settings. And you can see that there's a whole number of different charts that I can choose from. So let's say for this, I'm going to do a pie chart. And then you just need to go and choose what you want to track. So do I want to track a date? Um, I guess I could track a date. I'm just showing you how to use this. So it doesn't necessarily have to be real information. And then let's just say I would have two date columns. So I would choose just which one I would want. If I don't want to track a date, so I can go back here and instead of date, I can track, let's say some numbers, and then I can choose which columns I would want to track. Now in the chart widget, you also can change. You also can have a bar graph. Okay. So let's say in my bar graph, I want to track something else. So I can go back and choose what I want to track. Let's say I want to track formula columns and then it will pull in for each board. Only the sales KPI has a formula column, but it will pull in from each board what you want to track. Now, it's really important to know that you can also add filters. So you can add a board level filter. And this means that every single thing on this board will be filtered. So let's just say I wanted a 2023 dashboard versus 2022. So I can just have two dashboards and then filter by year. You can obviously filter by person and you can also filter on a specific widget. So here, if I click that, I can, I can, let's say track by only things that are yesterday or last week, whatever I want. And you have to make sure to hit save filters. And then that shows up just to show you some of the other widgets, um, the battery widget, it basically tracks the status of different, um, 
stat, sorry, it, it basically tracks the percentage of different status comps. I don't have any status comps on these boards, so it's not going to work, but I just wanted to show you that. Some other ones that you can have, you can have a Gantt chart, a files column. You also have a lot of apps. So if you open the apps store, you can see what you have here. And another one that I just want to show, which I think is important. Number one, you could have a table. So if you want to track certain things on a board, you can. Additionally, you can have time tracking, a calendar, a workload widget is a really important one where you can track your resources and how busy they are. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that. Um, I just want to show you also this um, the goals widget. I'm just looking for it. One second. Let's just search for it here. Goals widget. So what a goals widget does is it allows you to obviously add a goal. So let's say we would want to add a goal. I'm just going to change the settings. Let's say of, let's say of website visitors, right? So Let's say, and we could change, let's say we want our goal to be 100,000. Okay, it's not dollars. So we're gonna just remove remove this and we can just write visitors, okay? And once we, we have to pull in which column we want. So here, let's say, we, it actually is not relevant on the sales board, but it would be relevant here. And we can see how many visitors we have versus what our goal is. And when it's all green, then there's some, um, there's some confetti that comes down. It's kind of cute. So you could see here that we have this, we have this information. Now in these two boards, you can see that not necessarily all the information would want, you would want to combine it. But if you did, you can combine almost, I could take like what's on this dashboard and the website KPI dashboard and just combine it into one dashboard. It will still be the information from separate boards, but in one place. So just to clarify again, to make sure it's really clear, you have two options for dashboards. You could either add a dashboard from an individual board in monday.com, but it only pulls the information from that individual board. Your other option is to make a dashboard you added over here, and then it can pull from a number of different dashboards. Usually if you're on the pro plan, it can pull from up to 20 different boards. I hope that this was helpful in explaining how dashboards work and that you put it to use. If you enjoyed this video, like it below and make sure to subscribe so that way you can get tips and tricks on how to use monday.com.